overflows man and woman are part of existential synergy life is synergy between inner and outer dimension both are lived differently for outer life discipline is needed and for inner life realization of love within is needed this applies both for man and woman with this realization harmony comes bliss overflows a spontaneity comes this spontaneity adds a new dimension to discipline and male female relation life should be taken with ease differences are not contradictions they can help each other and immediately enhance and immensely enhance each other they can help each other and immensely enhance each other as well the woman who loves you can enhance your creativity can inspire you to heights you have never dreamt of and she asks nothing she simply wants your love which is her basic right a great discipline is needed in life because you have to live in the world with so many people and with so many circumstances and situations you have to live in discipline otherwise life would become a chaos life would become impossible if you could not live in a disciplined manner this is outer life still you have to live and nourish your inner life but if you only live outer life in discipline and forget the spontaneity and you become the discipline and you are not capable of getting out of this situation then again life is lost you have become a machine now these are two alternatives that have been available to man up to now either become a chaos which is not good or become a machine which is not good either there is yet another option a third one for this i want you to be alert conscious aware disciplined yet capable of spontaneity when you are working with discipline but work is not all when you are playing forget all discipline then be totally spontaneous life is a play there are natural differences between man and a woman they have nothing to do with conditionings there are other differences as well for example a woman is more centered than a man this starts happening even in the womb of the mother an experienced mother who has given birth to two or three children already can tell you after a few months of pregnancy whether the newcomer is going to be a girl or a boy because the boy starts making a fuss kicking in her womb moving he is on the way but the girl remains absolutely silent so that is not a question of condition female is more serene more silent more patient and is capable of waiting which is essential quality of a woman 
perhaps because of these qualities, she has more resistance to diseases and she lives longer than a man. Because of her serenity, her delicateness, she can fulfill a man's life immensely. Because of her serenity and her delicateness, she can fulfill a man's life immensely. She can surround man's life in a soothing way, creating an atmosphere of harmony. For that, certain efforts has to be made by the man to give woman freedom and spontaneity. But the man is afraid. So he does not want to be surrounded by the woman. He does not want to let her create a cozy warmth around him. He is afraid because that way he will become dependent on her. So for centuries he has been keeping her at a distance and he is afraid because he knows deep down that the woman is more than he is. If the man recognizes the inner talent of the woman and allows her spontaneity, freedom, then life will be unimaginably blissful for you. You have not tasted that as yet. She can give birth to life. Nature has chosen her to reproduce but not man. Man's function in reproduction is almost nil. This inferiority has created the greatest problem for man. As a result, man started cutting woman's wings. He started in every way reducing her, condemning her on a day-to-day -day basis for a small and big things so that he could at least believe that he is superior. He has treated woman as cattle even worse. In China for thousands of years, the woman was not thought to have a soul. So the husband could kill her and the law would not interfere. She was his position. If he wanted to destroy his furniture, it was not illegal. It was if he wanted to destroy his woman, it was not illegal. This is the ultimate insult that a woman has no soul. Man has deprived woman of education, of financial independence. He has deprived her of social mobility because he is afraid. He knows she is superior. He knows she is beautiful. He knows that giving her independence will create danger. So down the centuries, there have been no independence for women except during the Vedic period when women were given equal importance in scriptural dialogues, debates and every aspect of life. However, a woman as mother will always remain indis indispensable. They have tried experiments. They have given children all the facilities, medication, all the food, every perfection from different branches of science. But strangely, the children go on shrinking and will die within three months. Then they discovered that the woman's body and her warmth is an absolute necessary for life to grow. That warmth 
in this vast cold universe is absolutely necessary in the beginning. This applies to male-female relation as well. The, the warmth, the inner and the outer warmth of woman and man helps each other immensely in growth. There is no need for man to feel inferior to woman. The whole idea arises because you take man and woman as two species while they are part of existential synergy. They belong to one humanity and they both have complementary qualities. They both need each other and the moment you feel that without her you are incomplete and she feels that without you she is incomplete, a new synergy begins. There comes a spontaneity in life. Sometimes one has to strive to create this spontaneity in his or her spouse because of the long tradition it becomes difficult. They both need each other and only when they are together they are whole. There is synergy. Life should be taken with ease. Differences are not contradictions. They can help each other and immensely enhance each other in myriad ways. The woman who loves you can enhance your creativity, can inspire you to heights that you have never dreamt of. Those who are living in that synergy, they will experience that and she asks nothing. She simply wants your love which is her basic right. Remember, man and woman both are existential synergy. They are part of one existence, one whole. Enough for now.